Hi folks, Steve here at Boss Runners. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Venture RV Sport Track Touring Edition Model 333 VMI. So, 333 VMI was introduced in 2021, so it's about a year old. Very good selling floor plan. Uh, the reason why is because they reversed one of the all-time most popular floor plan in the Touring Edition product line, the 343 VIK. So instead of having the living room at the back, you have it at the front. So it's been just as popular as a 343 VIK. So today we're gonna to tour this trailer. Um, we're gonna go pretty quick on the outside because it's pretty tight in the shop and uh, I can't even open up the outside kitchen, but uh, we'll talk about what's in there when we get there. Uh, a couple things about the 333 VMI. It's 37 foot in length, it's actually 3611. Anyways, just a little over 8,800 pounds. So most of those big trailers are being parked permanently, but we still have some that are uh, being towed to places. So yes, it is a larger trailer, but uh, the weight is interesting enough that it can be towable. Uh, lots of very, very interesting features on those uh, touring editions. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's start the tour. An electric tongue jack at the front. It will come with a two times 30 pounder. You got a battery disconnect right at the back. You have a beautiful fiberglass painted and gel coated front cap with an incorporated windows and LED lights. It's really top quality. Uh, coming around the corner, we have a tiny little storage here. All the handles for the outside storage are slam latch and there's a magnetic holder to hold them up. All of our exterior windows are frameless as well. There's rain gutters with spout extension and that's even including uh, the rear wall. Uh, four electric jacks with individual motor and switches, so the one in each corner. And there is blue uh, LED lights under the trailer to give you a bit of a, a mood. <laughs> Our outside kitchen, it's very large as you can see. I can hardly reach both ends of the door. I can't lift that up, but there is a very tall fridge, a griddle, and a sink with a hot and cold, and a top cabinet. Lots of storage in there, and there's even some blue LED lights in there as well. Uh, there is an awning on the slide out so often when you have slide out on this side the awning is Affected and you're not getting a lot of it, but here they added one on the slide out. It's a 10 footer So lots of awning on those uh, touring edition We have uh, the new steps. I think everybody likes those. They're very uh, sturdy. There's a big handle to help you get in There's a bottle, bottle opener doggy shoulder Aluminum uh, wheels and Goodyear tires as well. A door to your bedroom, and on the back of it, we have a roof ladder. It's ready for a backup camera, and there's a 250 pound, two inch receiver hitch. So if you're towing, you can put a bike rack there or even a basket to carry some extra stuff. Uh, new this year, they added the little gizmos called the screen defender. So your pet's not gonna walk right through the screen. You can remove it if you want. And there's a self-closing screen door. There's a bit of a, an elastic here to uh, help close the screen on its own. On the interior, central kitchen, front living room. Let's start at the front. Uh, three fold sleeper sofa, so a couple of adults can sleep very comfortably here. There is a side table on each side. Just so you understand, those side tables are actually outside storage. So that little compartment door that I showed you, that's your outside storage and you got one on each side. You got a banks of uh, very large cupboards on the top, that front window. All the windows in this trailer will have the pleated shades. There's power on each side as well. Uh, to make things a little more comfortable, you got theater sitting. Theater sitting with uh, heat and massage. There's a USB outlet. There's also another one in the armrest. So power outlets and two USB outlets. And you get cup holder. Again, storage above, LED lights. Uh, facing the theater sitting is our entertainment uh, cabinet. So that's where our outside kitchen is, the back portion of it. But at the front, there's enough room for a 50 inch TV, a fireplace that actually produces heat and an AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB Auxiliary HDMI. 
a little bit of storage on the bottom, a little more on this side, but above it is pretty large. There's also a blue LED light in there. So that completes the living sitting arrangement, our dining. We have three sitting table and chair, one, two windows, everything open by the way. There's a nice little light fixture there. Power outlets on the wall. Uh, there is a little bit of storage underneath the, the seat cushion. And for our kitchen, well, I think uh, we, we're not getting any complaints there. There's a beautiful kitchen, Alan, and no sink in it. I really like that. Um, a lot of manufacturer likes to put the sink right in the kitchen, in the kitchen, Alan. Well, this one has its own wall. So the, the kitchen, Alan, is basically free for uh, meal prep or, you know, uh, putting some of the stuff that you already got ready, maybe a cheese platter and bottle of wine with glasses for when you have friends over. Anyway, it's a great spot. Lots of storage. There is a door with a shelf, but the other one's been left. Uh, and without a shelf, a perfect spot for your garbage can. All the drawers are ball bearing hardware, the plywood made. Same, uh, same with this uh, side right here. Uh, hard surface countertop. A very deep single bowl stainless steel farmer style sink, commercial style tap. Lots of storage above. Blue LED light again. And a lot of storage below. There's a shelf on every single one of them, so you don't have to worry about having to add something for you. And uh, power outlet, power outlet. There's another power outlet on the island at the back of it. And your oven or stove, three burner stove, flash mounted flush. Uh, bifold glass cover, pretty nice, and a cutting board, which the name of the company uh, etched in it, also fit right in the sink, so if you remove one of those drying racks, you can put the cutting board here if you want, fits just fine. Uh, going back to our stove, cast iron grill, uh, as you can see the button lit up, it's a 21 inch oven, so it's a little bit bigger than the standard size. Really liking that. There's lots of room above. Look at all that room. Uh, I don't know about a turkey for Thanksgiving, but definitely a chicken. And uh, the range hood is actually vented outside. You get your microwave. And underneath, pots and pans drawers. You get a 10 cubic foot fridge, very deep. So was the freezer. And right beside it, we have a pantry with adjustable shelf. You can add some if you want, remove some. You can do whatever you want with this space. If you want to put a bar on the top and use half of it as a hanging closet, you sure can. So, uh, skylight with a little blind. Our EC is ducted and the vents are closable. Our heat is ducted as well uh, through the floor. And uh, I think that covers pretty much the tour of the kitchen and living area. So making our way towards the back. The back of the trailer is always required for place in the campsites. Eh? That's the furthest spot away from the road. So if you like to sleep in the morning, that's not a bad uh, thing to have it in the back. Our thermostat uh, that will control your AC and your furnace. Uh, I think this one is for the light under the steps. Uh, our bathroom, <clears throat> 36 by 30 shower, that's pretty tall, actually the interior height on these trailers are 82 inch, so I'm 5 foot 8, there's still plenty of room, there's a nice little curtain here, it works super well, foot flush porcelain toilet, a large vanity, stainless steel sink, a very large medicine cabinet, and they added another one on this side. The power fan as well, skylight, a light switch, and a vent switch on the wall. Really, really nice. Um, a little motion detector, night light, and if you're towing, there's a little level mate pro, it's a little gizmo that basically connects to uh, an app on your phone and it's going to help you level your trailer uh, side to side and front to back. The back, well, on the way to the back, there's a monitor panel, it is Bluetooth enabled. So everything about your water, uh, your awning, your slide out, everything is controlled through here. It's pretty nice. So 
Rear bedroom, king size bed. That's where we'll start. Uh, nice little bed spread and some sham uh, decorative cushions. I really like that. A little bit of storage above. Uh, they left the middle open. There's a 12 volt outlets and a 110 outlets in the middle. So perfect for uh, someone CPAC machine or alarm clock. Uh, there's a hanging closet here. And a little bit of extra space on the bottom. You got that little cabinet where your fireplace is. So this trailer comes with two fireplaces. Every touring edition comes with two fireplaces. Uh, again, it does produce heat. It's 1400 watts. Three big drawers. A little bit of storage on each side. A place to leave your shoes on the bottom and slippers. And the top opens up. That's where you hide all your hard-earned money. Windows. Light. Cabinet above with LED lights again. And uh, the other feature in this trailer is the extra closet right here. It is a hanging closet, but more importantly, they actually put water hot and cold. And that would be for a washer dryer combo if you want. Now, uh, light switches. And this thing comes with a rain sensored, fully automatic, thermostat control, max air fan. And it does come with a remote. You can bring it a little closer to bed if you want. Uh, if it starts raining, the thing will close on its own. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Most people that have a Max Air fan mm, rarely turn on the AC. That's how powerful and efficient this uh, this little addition is. There's a very large window on the back wall, and right above the window, there's all your connection for uh, a TV. Now under the bed, there's some extra storage. We don't get to see. It's been closed up, but the the head of the bed is actually accessible from outside, so your lawn chair or anything you want to bring with you can be loaded through there. Um, plywood bed base, gas struts, standard features, you know. Uh, so is our floor, folks. This is not a laminated floor. This is a floor built like your house. 16-inch uh, on center, uh, floor truss, and uh, deck with 5.8 tongue and groove plywood. So a pretty awesome product, uh, folks. Um, if you have any questions, please give us a call or better yet, stop by uh, to see us. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Great trailer. Uh, we have it in stock. Folks, thanks for watching.